But the Norwegians, uh, watching the weather, because they mm-hmm. wanted to get, Shackleton, of course, wants to get on, on the road. He's, he's, an, he's antsy in his pants. He's antsy. So, you know, down there, spring, summer, winter, <laughs> fall is a different story than mm-hmm. up here where we are. Just opposite. So, yeah, it's like they're on South Georgia. It's like September, October. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it's, it's, so it's, it's approaching summer. Yeah. It's approaching summer. Um, but the Norwegians said, listen, this is the worst we've seen for mm-hmm. ice. Don't do it. Yep. And so all of the council of what, the, what of do those the, Norwegians know <laughs> of, the, of the whalers were like, don't go. Yep. And Shackleton goes, even Worldsley was like, we right. should listen to the, we should listen to the pros. Yeah, we should the pros at this. And of course, Shackleton doesn't want to do that. He thinks he's got this ultra ship. To do this, he's got an incredible crew. He's got vision. It's destiny. Mm -hmm. And so let's forge ahead. It's not that far. Well, (laughs) they get into it about a day. Yeah. 36 hours or something? It's not. It's Yeah, they start seeing the pack pack ice. ice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So describe pack ice. I think they go, though, for... Uh, for, they're able to travel about 14 days before yeah. everything stops, but they start seeing pack ice right away. So this is layer ice. So it's on the, so it's not iceberg necessarily, but you got to imagine, let's say an ice shelf. And some of this stuff is six, 10 foot thick, you know, uh, but now it's all broken up. So you have these massive chunks of ice. Now this boat was designed to take these things head on with the front end of it being 30 freaking inches thick and the right. keel 80 some inches thick. It was designed to smash through this stuff. Plus they had a steam engine on board as well, yeah. the sails. It was also designed so that if ice got- It would buckle. It would, yeah. It, would it was, yeah, like, I think it was reticulated or something yeah. like that. Uh, they didn't say that, but the way I understood it, because like mo- some a lot of modern day body armor is reticulating, right? you know, so kind of like an ec- the skeleton of an insect yeah, type yeah, of shit. Yeah. So, you know, it was designed to buckle and give in certain places. But yeah, they started running, seeing the pack ice way before they had anticipated. Yeah. And this so, is not good. Is this the way it's going to be the whole way? If so, no big deal because we can push right through that. And then it just gets thicker and thicker. Now they're heading into this area called the Weddell Sea, which is, Ugh. think of like the, the Gulf of Mexico mm-hmm. kind of thing. It's, it's a huge gulf right there. But it's like a circuit, moving like a, almost like in hurricane fashion, yep. just kind of moves in a circle. And so what they don't know is that that ice is thicker and thicker and thicker and more packed yep. together. Mm-hmm. So they're thinking they're just going to go right into that bay, so to speak, right into that gulf and just get right off their boats and start making their mm-hmm. trek. The only thing is, imagine the Gulf of Mexico is all ice. Mm-hmm. And that's what they're driving into. So it, it's getting more and more packed as they go in, and they're having to start push through. But they had a powerful ship, and you know, Worsley was kind of talking about he was having a good time. Yep, he was like, you know, I kind of liked the backing up and right, boom, smash, you know, yeah, pushing yeah. through shit yep. and creating new leads, which was breaks in the in the ice that they could kind of push through. So I mean, they knew it was not going to be a cakewalk, right? But they did, certainly didn't expect what was going to happen, mm. which was. Stand still. Stand still. So they're caught in this pack ice, and there's they, they keep, all right, fire the engines back on. Let's back it up. Right. Let's ram. Back it up, <laughs> ram. And they're making zero ground. Right. But every day, they have high expectations. Yeah. And they might see, hey, 300 meters ahead of us, there's a massive freaking crack. All we need to do is get through this. Right. And they start moving like these men on this ice are cutting it with hand saws yeah. and trying to move it with ropes and with lever bars and all this stuff. No ground. Mm-mm. And then that that passage that was opened would close up. Boom. Yep. That yep. doorway would shut. Yep. And they did this for weeks. Yeah. <laughs> they finally got to that place where they did one time. It was like 48 hours. And then Shackleton at the end said, we're stuck. Yep. And so that's when that ice begins to get closer and closer. Because and you got the pressure of from the current is coming from two sides. Right. And you've got gales that are blowing through. Mm-hmm. We're so used to 15 degrees mm-hmm. kind of things. So you got to rem- Think, okay, a, a regular day is negative 15 yep. Fahrenheit in this sort of thing. Merciless wind. Yep. And you have no idea what's going on left, right. And as far as you can see is ice. Yep. As far as you can see. So you can't see land. Mm-hmm. You can't, you are still technically in the ocean, mm-hmm. you know, and the most violent ocean on the yeah, planet. Yeah, the Weddell Sea, the most yeah. violent ocean on the planet. Yeah. You know, they, they kind of lucked out as far as sea conditions while that, because they, once 
the endurance became locked in ice. They were still pretty optimistic. Ah, yeah. you know, yeah. we, we could weather right. weather this out. We would camp here right. for a few months. Right, yeah. We could camp here for a few months and we're good. We'll, yeah, we'll be able to get her out because the, the, the tides are going to change. The You yeah. know, the weather, the pack ice is going to break up. Yeah. So they were pretty jovial, optimistic. Yeah. They made the best of it. They had a party. Yeah, they still had they still had light too yeah. at that point. Yeah, because once they knew they were stuck and the boat wasn't going anywhere, they changed the name of the endurance to the Ritz. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they were having like uh, they had hair cutting contests. Yeah, right. They yeah. all they all shaved their, when they shaved themselves bald, <laughs> and Shackleton was like, "What in the hell? All right, I'm going to do that too." Do <laughs> then they would put on they would get dressed up and makeup and stuff and put on plays, yep. and then uh, Hurley would take some of the his prints and things and do like slideshows and crap. Mm -hmm. And of course they're eating and, but every day was work. Yep. I mean, they had to clean everything. So they kept everything clean, kept themselves neat and whatever. Again, thinking that, you know, we'll get through this, the seasons will change and the ice will start to break up again and push away. Nobody thought it would get worse. Nobody thought the pressure Mm -mm. would really start to clamp down on that ship. Nope. Nobody, nobody figured it. They didn't unass all the supplies. Mm -hmm. They kept it all right there. You know, they had just enough out of the boat, out of the, the endurance to live. You know, their tents, their little uh, stoves and all this stuff. They had just, everything else was in there. Like, now we're good. Just, you know, we'll pull out supplies as we need it. And pretty soon this will all just blow over. <laughs> you know, we'll, yeah. we'll get some leverage bars and, well, maybe we'll hook up the dogs in front of it. You know, yeah, right. Pull it out. Well, so, yeah, that's the one thing. They used to, had to work their dogs every yeah, day. Yeah, so yeah, they'd yeah. go outside. And you can see footage of this. You can yep. see them running around mm-hmm. with the dogs, yep. trying to pick them up, falling down with yep. them, and just loving on these dogs, man. So, and it's funny because nobody anticipated that, that the dogs would have this multi-purpose. Because now the dogs are making shuttles right back and forth to the endurance for right. supplies on sleds and they're also acting as companions for these dudes yeah, yeah. You know, they're like oh man it's so good to have these dogs <laughs> yeah they even had four buddies. puppies yeah yeah which yeah. mcneesh right yeah. the irishman mm-hmm. uh was taken now he also had a cat he had a cat miss chippy which miss was chippy. actually a, a boy it wasn't even a right wasn't even yep miss mm-hmm. chippy uh in fact there's a picture of blackborough mm-hmm. the stowaway uh holding miss chippy on his oh, shoulder right. that I you can see, see that. yeah and um, they were played soccer mm-hmm. outside. Yep. They, you can see footage of that as well. And so they're, you know, again, they're making the best of it. It's funny you say that too, playing soccer. They understood the necessity for to keep physically fit. Yeah. So they would jog. Yeah, they jog, like yeah. 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 They would do those uh, they, ice baths. Right. Oh, my God. Did Rosalie would jump in check there. It out, check it out. This is one of the things. When I was, re- I am, I don't know, a couple chapters in, and that's what I was wondering. How are they staying clean? Yeah. How are they pooping and peeing mm-hmm. you know right. but it talks about that yeah yeah because y- y- you think about just you know going to the bathroom in those conditions the work that that must have been yeah but they had all that shit figured out that, that well, shit yeah, well, figured out well, <laughs> well you got you got you know a couple of guys going out at the same time to take a pee in the right. middle of a blizzard mm-hmm. i start peeing i'd be like sorry dude right yeah <laughs> you're downwind yes <laughs> uh, sorry about this. but but good thing is it's not sticking to you because it's ice before it hits you <laughs> that's right <laughs> 